Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. We are gathered together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. All together we say, I confess, I confess to Almighty God, God and to you, you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who, seeing the human race fallen into death, willed to redeem it by the coming of your only begotten Son, grant, we pray, that those who confess his incarnation with humble fervor may merit his company as their Redeemer. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first book of Samuel. In those days, Hannah brought Samuel with her, along with a three-year-old bull, an epa of flour, and a skin of wine. 
and presented him in the temple of the Lord in Shiloh. After the boy's father had sacrificed the young bull, Hannah, his mother, approached Eli and said, Pardon, my lord, as you live, my lord, I am the woman who stood near you here, praying to the Lord. I prayed for this child, and the Lord granted my request. Now I, in turn, give him to the Lord. As long as he lives, he shall be dedicated to the Lord. She left Samuel there. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. My heart exalts in the Lord. My horn is exalted in my God. I have swallowed up my enemies. I rejoice in my victory. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. The bows of the mighty are broken, while the tottering geared on a strength. The wealth feed higher themselves out for bread, while the hungry batten on a spoil. The barren wife hears seven sons, while the mother of many languishes. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. The Lord puts to death and gives life. He casts down to the nether world. He raises up again. The Lord makes poor and makes rich. He humbles. He also exalts. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. He raises the needy from the dust. From the dung heap, he lifts up the poor to seat them with nobles and make a glorious throne their heritage. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. Please stand. King of all nations and keystone of the church, come and save man whom you form from the dust. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Mary said, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked upon his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered the promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Mary remained with Elizabeth about three months and then returned to her home. My dear brothers and sisters, the good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated.
Magandang umaga po sa atin lahat. Isa sa mga karakter na marahil natutunan natin nung bata pa lang tayo ay ang attitude o ang kaulog-galian na magpasalamat. Maliit pa lang tayo. It is also taught in the GMRC sa mga nakaabot sa inyo na kapag nabigyan ka for example ng candy, no? It is always taught to us anong sasabihin mo in return? Salamat. Kapag nakatanggap ka ng pera, o kaya kapag may ginawang pabor, anong sasabihin mo? Salamat. We are thankful not just because something has been given to us, but because someone is looking with favor upon us. May nakaalala sa atin. May nagmamahal sa atin. Someone is looking after us. Today, my dear brothers and sisters, in our readings, it talks about this very attitude that we should have. What is this? Being grateful. In the first reading, we've heard how Hannah, the mother of Samuel, was offering three-year-old bull a flower and a skin of wine in the altar. He was in the temple. Nagpunta siya te sa templo para magpasalamat at kinausap niya si Eli doon na sinabi, no? natataandaan niyo pa po ba ako na madalas ako dito magpunta sa templo? Ako po yung madasa, madalas na nagdadasal dito na humihiling sa Diyos ng isang anak. And lo and behold, narinig po ng Diyos ang aking panalangin at eto po yung kanyang binigay sa akin, si Samuel. At bilang pasasalamat, inialay ko siya sa Diyos ngayon para manilbihan dito sa templo sa tanang buhay niya. Imagine the faith and the thankful heart of Hannah that after receiving what she have been praying for as a way of thanksgiving, hindi na ito tinago. Kanyang inalay uli sa Diyos. Sa kanyang tauspusong pasasalamat sa Diyos. In our gospel reading, narinig natin ang Magnificat ni Mama Mary. Ito yung kanyang kanta ng pasasalamat dahil nakita ng Diyos na pinaburan si Maria. At na-recognize iyon ni Maria, kaya napakanta siya. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. I guess, my dear brothers and sisters, for our reflection today, no, I would like us to reflect on the way we also give thanks. No? We should always give thanks to God. May natatanggap man tayo o wala. Nahihirapan man tayo o hindi. Dahil alam natin, <coughs> excuse me, na nandyan siya palagi, nakamasid, gumagabay sa atin. We are thankful sometimes only if we receive, no? And sometimes, nagpapasalamat tayo dahil sa mga dasal na natupad. However, at times, no? Hindi na nga rin tayo nagpapasalamat dahil we believe that what we have is something that we what? Deserve. Nandun na yung sense of entitlement. No? Aakin ito eh. Pinagtrabahuhin ko ito eh. I deserve this. No? Forgetting na what we have is actually borrowed. Kagaya ng ginawa ni Hannah. Hindi niya ito tinago na inangkin akin itong anak na ito. Binalik niya sa Diyos sa kanyang pasasalamat. Another thing also when we receive gifts, sometimes instead of being thankful, tinitingnan pa natin yung regalo natin at alin ginagawa. 
kinukumpara sa iba. Na sometimes, nagiging mitsa pa ito ng inggit. Dahil, ah, mas malaki yung sa kabila. Pakunti lang sa akin. Di ba? Ganon tayo. At doon, nag emerge siyang insecurity. Na hindi tayo nagiging masaya dahil mas malaki yung sa kabila. Binibilang natin yung wala sa atin rather than being thankful of what we presently have. And so it is also good to ask ourselves, no? ano bang nagpapasaya sa inyo? What is it that makes us joyful? How Mary was so grateful and joyful proclaiming the greatness of the Lord. Ano bang nagpapasaya sa buhay natin? Siguro ngayong Pasko, gifts. Siguro ngayong Pasko, 13th month pay. And it is not bad. It is not bad. However, we should be more thankful of the one who give those gifts, not the gift in themselves. No? We are more thankful not of the objects that we are receiving, but the person who gives those objects to us. Rather than being thankful of the gift that we receive, be thankful to the one who is giving us. Rather than being thankful of that material possession that we have, let us be thankful of the one who loaned it to us. Not so much being attached to what, it is, what has been given, but have that joyful awareness of that abiding presence of God always with us. Just like how Mary and Hannah was so thankful and joyful realizing it in their lives. Ngayong Pasko, magpasalamat tayo sa Diyos. Hindi lang sa regalo at biyaya na binibigay niya sa atin, kundi mismo sa presensya ng Diyos sa kanyang pagkakatawang tao para makapiling tayo. Siya ang ultimate na gift na binigay sa atin ng Diyos. Amen. Please stand. Following the example of Mary, we praise and thank God the Father, who out of the abundance of His generosity gave us His only Son as our Savior and Redeemer. In every intention we say, May our being proclaim You, Lord. May our being proclaim You, Lord, that the Holy Father and the bishops of the Church may, like Mary, listen to the Word of God and spare no effort in spreading it, let us pray to the Lord. May, may our Lord, being Lord, proclaim you, Lord, Lord, that mothers may look to Mary as true refuge and source of hope in moments of trials and sufferings, let us pray to the Lord. May our, our being, being proclaim you, Lord, Lord that by giving Mary a place of honor in our lives and in our homes, we may deepen our appreciation of our Son. Let us pray to the Lord. May, may our, our being, being proclaim, proclaim you, Lord, Lord, that through the intercession of Mary, the poor and the oppressed may be liberated from their condition. Let us pray to the Lord. May, may our, our being, being proclaim, proclaim you, Lord, Lord that the dead may be welcomed into the company of the saints and join Mary in the eternal praise of God. Let us pray to the Lord. May Lord our being proclaim, proclaim you, Lord. Lord. In a special manner, we continue to pray for our brothers and sisters in the Visayas and Mindanao who were victims of the typhoon Odette 
May the Lord continue to strengthen their faith, give them hope and courage to continue in their lives. And we also pray for ourselves that we be moved and touched to help them. Let us pray to the Lord. May our being proclaim you, Lord. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the message of peace that Mary brings to our troubled world. Give us the help we need each day to be faithful to you. We make our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Trusting in your compassion, O Lord, we come eagerly with our offerings to your sacred altar, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly really right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. Chant the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaim his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with angels and our angels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, hosts heaven, heaven and, and earth are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes in the name, in the name of, of the Lord. Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the, in the highest. highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving you thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, 
which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. By the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead, and lead us not into, into temptation, temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ has said here, Apostles, Peace I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of, of the world. world. Have, have mercy, mercy on us. us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. 
Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. May the reception of your sacrament strengthen us, O Lord, so that we may go out to meet our Savior with worthy deeds when he comes and merit the rewards of the blessed through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. Oh, Sandy.